So I decided to go get my hair done by my friend. She is going to I searched Google to try to figure out what pumpkin did I want to do. I found some great ideas, but eventually I went with none of them. Uh, in today's video, I'm going to be telling you how I transformed this beautiful pumpkin into something else. Totally different. Never been done before. <laughs> Are you excited? I'm excited. I'm excited. I'm excited. I am excited to share with you today's video. I love the fall season because we can get pumpkins of all sizes. Little, 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 little baby pumpkins and you can get large pumpkins. Then you can make pumpkin pie, you can make pumpkin soup, you can uh, put your pumpkins in the oven and have roasted pumpkin seeds. Natural and not store broad. You think it's late? It's never too late. It's never too late. It's never, 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 never. Never, 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 never too late. Okay. 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 Today's star of the show is the pumpkin. Paper mache pumpkin or foam pumpkin. This is the big thing. We're gonna jump right in. Ooh, yeah, yeah. In today's video, I'm gonna be sharing with you how I decorated my pumpkin. I got my pumpkin from Target, aka Target. Bought a few of these actually, so I'm gonna be doing two more pumpkins that I'm going to decorate, okay? Today, I'm just gonna show you how I did it from start to finish and what are the supplies that I used. Liquitex um, black, not purple, black, white. Brown, raw umber. Oh, I got it this way. I used Lashes, La Flair. Um, I think it was given to me uh, from either my pastor or someone made a donation because they know I put lashes on my art, and so I was super excited about that. This high ponytail bun, beautiful hairstyle was inspired by an image I saw of Janet Jackson. I think she posted it on Instagram. Who knows, but it's a dope picture. I love it. Um, and I said, why not just do this to my pumpkin and give this pumpkin a natural high bun? Okay. Yes, I purposely went to the hair store to buy hair to put on my pumpkin on purpose. Why not? Why not? And I love this particular hair that I mentioned the name of it uh, a few seconds ago. I use it in my hair when I want to do natural twists. It's soft and I really like the kinkiness of it. It comes in different colors, but this time I decided to stick with uh, black for this particular pumpkin. And it's so good that as an artist, I buy things that I don't use right away. But I'm pretty sure I had this string for a minute. Just available and ready to be used. For such a time as this, okay? <laughs> the only difficulty I really had was, you know, the pumpkin is round. So to get the hair to stay on, to get the string around... Um, the hair and the pumpkin. I don't even know what you call that piece on the top of the pumpkin. But that piece, you know what I'm talking about. To get it to stay, I kind of had to put the pumpkin on its side, on the other side, uh, and just continue to roll that string around. 
so I did start the eyes in pencil, right? However, you couldn't see the pencil. So I just deleted that whole clip because it wasn't going to help me or you. You wasn't going to be able to see what I was doing at that time. So I didn't go with it. I just scratched it. I'm using a really thin paintbrush with a um, thin uh, bristle, so not the angle brush, not the filbert, and not a flat brush. So this just allows me to have more control over the lines that I'm trying to make. I probably could have used something a little shorter, but um, I didn't have it at the time. And I like to draw big eyes, <laughs> naturally, right? Most of the time, in most of my artwork, in some of my pieces, you may see uh, these larger than life uh, eyes on them. And then over time, I've gotten better with what style I wanted on this image or silhouette that I was creating. I'm using white to uh, correct any mistakes that I made. I want the brows a lot thinner now, and so I'm gonna use the white to cover up the black, and then to go back in with the orange color that I've been using and to cover that area up. Make sure you're following me on Artistic Souls Gallery on Facebook and Instagram and Artistic Souls Journey on Facebook and Instagram. If you're interested in one of the art pieces that I have up there, just please message me. I'll be excited to hear from you. Now I've had these pumpkins that I purchased from Tarjay a while back. And I've been getting around to it and it just wasn't uh, working out the way I anticipated it to have this uh, video ready for you all. But there is no time like the present. Some people may still have pumpkins in their house and just trying to figure out what you want to do with it. This is a design that you can try. I love mixed media creations, mixed media paintings, and I don't know, I just love to have different textures and materials on an individual piece. Reminds me of life. We're not uh, flat, right, in the sense of our personalities and character. They're layers to who we are as people. And I would say that that is the same for my art. There's layers, there's a process, right? You go through different emotions, frustration, anger, sadness, joy, happiness, sadness, joy, and back to happiness again, hopefully towards the end, or at least for that night and you come back at it again. They are playing some lovely music there. So you may hear a beautiful bass and it's okay. Seems like a Friday, but it's so not, but it seems like a Friday. Nonetheless, now I'm working into blending that like white. I used all of them that was in here. This hair, I love this hair. For my for my hair, when I do twists and or dreads, I use that also. And it's I like the texture and rubber bands to keep my ponytail in place on my pumpkin. I was having issues with my handy cam. It was like kept rewriting the data, so it's the reason why you see my tripod legs so beautifully placed inside this video. It was a process, but I did not give up. <laughs> I really wanted to make sure that I gave her some highlights okay some shadows i want her eyes to stand out i really wanted my pink my pinker <laughs> my pumpkin to have this realistic vibe happening 
And, you know, so I did my blending. I'm using my Filbert brush, I believe. I'm going back and forth with uh, this dark brown that I was using. And a lighter yellow and mixing my white as well with uh, my yellow ochre and also mixing my brown with my yellow ochre <laughs> I like the image right now it makes it look like uh, when you spray uh, the finisher on your face you can get a matte look you know or have like a finished um, like a wet look it's very interesting the angle of the camera is giving that vibe for me so this actually is yellow ochre and it was a hard it's been a hard color to find by liquitex basics i i felt like they took it out and replaced that with red oxide or a, it's another color but um yellow ochre has been challenging so i now purchased my yellow ochre from two other acrylic art companies I love to use yellow ochre when I'm uh, painting my trees as a highlight or even as a low light mixed with some brown. Now I really wanted this ombre effect for the lips. I've been seeing it a lot, you know, on Instagram, Facebook, and also there is this show that I watch uh, and they do makeup and special effects and it's a whole competition. But it's amazing and I like to see the different uh, makeup techniques that are out at the time and even some techniques that, you know, have come out and that is still present in the makeup community. But I like this ombre effect and so I went back and forth with the uh, yellow ochre, the dark brown, which I believe is a burnt umber. Or raw umber it's one of the two with a little bit of white so going back and forth with those colors and using my round brush I thought that was a filbert brush which could be my round brush to blend back and forth I was really excited and happy about that I'm not even gonna hold you I really love how the lips turned out this is so much fun and it's super relaxing very therapeutic for me when I am creating I am in the um, cool happy place God knew when he birthed me into this world through my mom that I would love art I used the Gorilla Glue super hold uh, to lay the lashes down and the rhinestones. I also use E600, but I did not have that around me at the moment. This works just as fine. I like the spout. It's kind of on the thin side, meaning thick amounts of glue do not pour out onto the surface that I am putting the glue on. So this is a blessing. So I don't have too much of a mess. Today's video is gonna be about a pumpkin. Can we say a pumpkin? Pumpkin, 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 pumpkin. Yes, I purposely have lashes for art <laughs> and to put on my canvases. I don't really wear lashes, I think they're awesome. Uh, maybe for an event, but I try to use a good liquid liner um, eyeliner to be helpful to get my lashes to stand out. They irritate me and they feel like something heavy on my eyelid, and so I do not. For my wedding, I did do lashes, and they are not the easiest thing to take off. Uh, I did use coconut oil. And uh, the wand that is used for eyeliner, liquid liquid liner, right? The ones that come uh, with nothing on it, and so that was useful for me. But I love when I'm gifted with lashes because they are so helpful in my art. 
I also, you know, buy lashes from my local Rite Aid uh, store of different uh, styles. Pumpkin! These rhinestones that I am using, I purchased actually from Michaels that used to be inside Exterior Mall before they closed down and I got it for an amazing discount. So sometimes it is beneficial to purchase items that you use for your business on sale, although you may not be using them at the moment, they may serve useful in the future. And so hence one of these times, this particular set has different size rhinestones and different colors. And so they're definitely useful uh, for my art. I love this tool and I came across this tool that I'm using to stick the rhinestones down. A young lady was sticking rhinestones on a cup that she sells. I don't recall the video, it was a very long time ago. And I saw her using this tool and I'm like, OMG, what is the name of this? It is so useful other than trying to use your fingers and get your fingers stuck together, which has happened to me numerous times, trying to stick a rhinestone or something thin onto something else. So this is called a uh, crystal and rhinestones applicator tool. Still by using the tool, things can get out of place and frustrate you. So this particular rhinestone wanted to play around and not go on top of the lash, which is what I wanted it to do. It wasn't listening at the time, but it's okay. It's okay, it's okay. I use the other side of the tool that's pointy uh, that allows me to help maneuver the rhinestones just in case the wax side, which uh, is um, a magnet or serves as a magnet, and it's able to pick up the rhinestone and also assist me with putting it in place. So it's okay, rhinestone was trying not to listen to me, but it all worked out. When I tell you I love that tool, okay. The lashes. I wanted to put a thin amount of Gorilla Glue that I was using on there. Uh, the Gorilla Glue uh, does dry, shiny. So you want to make sure you don't use too much because you will see that. Um, the uh, E600 uh, is somewhat similar, but you can uh, take up and pull off any stringy pieces of E600. So <laughs> it looks weird, but I just wanted to just do uh, to clean up the uh, lip area. To not make it so jagged and also just to have a highlight uh, for the chin area and I wanted to give her a highlight <laughs> make those cheekbones pop out okay and so this isn't really interesting I really felt like you know I was applying makeup to my pumpkin only using paint and it was uh, very interesting really going back and forth with that orange and white blend and covering up that with the orange itself uh, to give a little bit of a highlight but not simply super strong and this brush has been assisting me throughout the majority of uh, this video and like I said I believe that's a filbert I want to say yes that's a filbert or a round brush is it filled with a round brush? That is the question. Now, don't judge me here. I really, I was trying to create, um, you know, like the smile line that you have, right? That crease when you smile or also just enhance the cheekbones. And this particular way that I was doing it, it was too dark. It was just a lot happening. And I just said, no, bueno, we're just going to cover you. Up. we're not gonna have that present on this beautiful pumpkin's face this time around but I kind of really kind of wanted to give this uh, kind of highlighted vibe even though she wasn't smiling or she kind of had like a little bit of a smirk but not like all teeth you know what I'm saying it worked out when the highlight the nose area 
And again, I'm just, I'm going back in there with that white there. And a little bit of the orange. Giving her a bridge for her nose, hunty. When I tell you this is the best pumpkin I've ever made. And I haven't made a pumpkin in a long time. Okay. I was at home, you know, really like, what do I want to do with this pumpkin? And I know I was going to think about doing an M&M, m and M and M face. Uh, there's a few different faces. Um, the Minions, a Galaxy pumpkin. I still have two pumpkins left. And so I'm working on the ideas that I have for that now as I am sharing this with you. If you're interested in creating this pumpkin, holla. Leave a comment, okay? And if uh, a few of you want to get together and create your own pumpkin, uh, let me know. Maybe we can do some sort of Zoom, get your supplies, and we just have at it and have some fun. I did, however, go around searching for more pumpkins, you know, figuring they are getting ready for um, November and uh, Thanksgiving decorations and things like that and I didn't find any I went back to Target nothing I went to Family Dollar there was nothing left I'm like no no you know so these moments when the seasons and holidays do shift around and you see the items that you want I mean don't go crazy but but get a few of those because so that you have it before the holiday season starts if you're posting YouTube videos or if you're selling something and I'm still working through that process right to have the items before the season hits but I did find some nice uh, leaves uh, are artificial leaves uh, with glitter on it and so I have some ideas about this is something I've been wanting to make for a few years now and didn't get around to it and I believe I will I will get around to it Make sure uh, you hit the thumbs up button if you're liking what you're seeing. If this is helping you, if this is inspiring you, okay, give it a thumbs up and leave a comment. Let me know what you think. I so love these lashes on. I do want to get into some other lashes though. So my pumpkin doesn't have a name. I think my friend named her Pumpkin Yada. <laughs> pumpkin. Oh, I don't even know, but it was a cool name. Uh, I have two more pumpkins left, so I'm going to decorate those and post those video. I'm thinking about the ideas that I would like to create with them. Hey, best friend. How you doing? Hi, how are you today? Well, you're looking good, honey. You're looking good. I love it. Tell me, who did your hair? What, girl? I need to see her. We need to have a conversation. I'm about to have to get that snatched. I'm about to have to get this snatched up. I know I ain't got a lot over there, but you know I can snatch a little bit. A little gel. Gel does wonders, honey.